My name is Kirsten Jacobs and I work on the education team at Leading Age. I get to spend the bulk of my time focusing on dementia and wellness and since Leading Age adopted a new vision related to ageism, I've been leading the internal task force on ageism at Leading Age. Our Leading Age's anti-ageism work evolved out of the board of directors. Um, our board started recognizing that ageism was one of the challenges that everyone in this field was encountering. I think the thing we've discovered at Leading Age is once you start paying attention and sort of recognizing that ageism is um, discrimination or bias against older adults, um, you start noticing it everywhere. So it's in the subtle things that we say, like I'm having a senior moment, or um, those covert examples often show up in a compliment, like you look great for your age, or she's 100 years young. Things that are super well-intentioned and not intended to be negative, but really imply that young is good and old is bad. So those messages are messages that are sort of ingrained by the time we make it to our 60s, 70s, 80s, or 90s, hopefully. We know from research, especially research done at Yale uh, by Dr. Becca Levy, that um, ageism has an impact on well-being. Her research has told us that people with negative stereotypes about aging often have memory problems, cardiovascular problems, I love thinking about an America freed from ageism. It is, of course, a really um, wonderful vision. I think for me, it means an America where aging is a normal part of life that begins at birth and continues on until the end of life. It's not something that we try to avoid or combat. Um, and I think the other piece that's really important is that by addressing ageism, we embrace a really wide spectrum of the lived experience. So it's the older adult who's living with dementia, um, it's the 60 year old who's been living with a chronic disease for much of their life, um, it's the 90 year old marathon runner. So it really is the full spectrum and we give people the support and the opportunity to live vital, engaged lives regardless and because of their lived experience. So um, I hope that that's the experience that my three-year-old has as he gets older, but certainly there's lots of opportunity for growth at this point.